Hey Eon family! In this video we'll be covering how to align our new Nova series of machines. Grab your acrylic targets, access key, Phillips screwdriver, painter's tape, and wireless remote if you have one. First using your access key, you're going to take off the left side panel. Then using your Phillips head screwdriver, remove the back corner panel. There are two screws on the side and one on the rear of the chassis. You will see a mirror bracket near the bottom with orange markers on the knobs. Do not touch this mirror bracket without speaking to tech support. First we are going to apply tape to target 1, with a flap extending from the top and covering the engraved bullseye. When placing the target on the mirror bracket, make sure it is flush on top as well as push to the left flush with the bracket. Run your finger across the top to ensure there are no gaps. This video is going to outline how to align with a remote. If you do not have a remote, you will go through the menus as shown here, navigating to device diagnosis, debug mode, laser set, then laser button. Pressing once will let you move the gantry, then enter again pulses the laser. We're gonna start with our near shot on the first target with Y at zero. Hit pulse and look at the target with light shining through the back. Take a photo for later reference. After this photo is taken, put new tape on your target and place the target exactly as before, flush on top and push to the left. Then, using the remote, jog the gantry to front of machine with Y at 900 and pulse again. Now take the target out and using our photo of the near shot, compare where the shots are hitting. Our second shot is slightly high and right. Place the target back on the mirror. In order to adjust that, we're going to release this bottom brass lock knob, then turn the top part to move our beam path. With the top knob, clockwise will move the beam down and counterclockwise will move the beam up. The second knob, clockwise will move the beam right and counterclockwise will move the beam left. Adjust as you need and after any adjustment is made, make sure you tighten down the lock knob. Replace the tape on the target and repulse. Compare the new pulse with our original photo again. Dead center on both shots and we are now parallel. Moving on to target two, make sure you are flush with the top and pushed all the way to the left. Make sure your Y is equal to 450 millimeters. The gantry should sit in the center of the bed. It's okay if you're off a few millimeters. We're now going to jog the laser head to the far left of the bed. Close the lid and hit pulse to mark the target. Then the same way we did target one's first shot, we will take a picture for reference. You're now going to reset the tape and reset the target. With the laser head on the far right of the bed now, close the lid and hit pulse.
Now we're going to inspect where our shot is hitting and based on the reference picture, we can see that the alignment is slightly high and right. In order to fix this, we are going to move over to the knobs after resetting the target. Adjust alignment as needed and ensure they are locked down after any movements. With the top knob, clockwise will move the beam right and counterclockwise will move the beam left. The bottom knob, clockwise will move the beam up and counterclockwise will move the beam down. Now we're going to reset our tape again and do another far shot. Again, ensure that the target is flush, positioned exactly the same as before. Close the lid and pulse again. Same as we did before, we will look at the far shot in comparison to the picture of our near shot. We are now dead center on both shots and the mirror is aligned. Moving on to our laser head alignment, X should be set to 700 and Y is still 450. Same deal as before, we can be off a few millimeters here. The laser head should appear to be in the center of the bed. Disassemble laser head by unscrewing air hose retainer and loosening the lens holder clamp. Place some scrap wood or acrylic under the laser head to catch the beam with a small piece of blue painter's tape. Drop the lens holder out and move it out of the way with tape. In order to do near and far for the laser head, we are going to move the bed up and down. This can be done from the machine keypad or the remote. We will raise the bed until it's about an inch from the opening of the laser head. You can use the width of your tape to measure. Close the lid and pulse again. Then we are going to drop the bed as far as it will go. Do not move the material or tape because you will not be able to tell if you are parallel. The material must not move so we can see where the two shots are hitting in reference to each other. Once the bed is dropped to its extreme, you will hit a hard limit protect error. Press escape on the keypad to clear this. Close the lid and pulse again. We're now going to remove the material and inspect the burns. The shots are not in the same place as it looks oblong and ovular. Replace material and move red dot to a fresh piece of the tape. With the top knob, clockwise will move the beam up and counterclockwise will move the beam down. The bottom knob, clockwise will move the beam right and counterclockwise will move the beam left. Now we repeat the same thing that we did before. Raise the bed all the way up, close the lid, and pulse. Then drop the bed all the way down, close the lid, and pulse.
Now we inspect the dots again. It is pretty parallel, looks good. Finally, we move on to the five point test. Reassemble the laser head, push the nozzle and the lens back into the laser head. In this example, we set the lens holder at zero, but you can set it wherever works for you. Reattach the air hose, then tighten the clamp to secure the laser head. If you move over to near the e-stop, you can turn the internal air all the way off. The air can blow our tape off of the nozzle. Lowering the airflow will make doing the five point a lot easier. Take a new piece of tape and place it adhesive side up on the bottom of the nozzle. Press firmly with your finger into the nozzle to create a creased outline. With the laser head centered, close the lid and pulse. While taking the tape off, maintain the orientation of the machine to the tape. This is very important. Do not flip or turn the tape. We're not getting cut off and the laser beam is coming fully out of the nozzle with our center shot. Repeat this process in all four corners of the bed, corresponding to the four corners of the tape. Maintain the tape orientation the entire time. This tests that the laser beam exits the laser head fully in all places on the bed. The hole should be round and not touching any of the edges of the formed crease in all four corners. Your machine is now aligned and ready to start lasing. If you have trouble at any point, please do not hesitate to reach out to Eon's tech support for help.